Hey, what the? Cat just took a fish! Get back here! Police! Move, move! Yo, like this video if you want to see this dude slip on a banana peel in 4K. Alright, how's it going everybody? It is your favorite Mexican raincoat here. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. Prompt finished. So recently, OpenAI decided to drop their new platform called Sora. And bro, trust me when I say this, it is not good. Like the generative features of this app perform well, but I think overall, this app is gonna make a terrible impact on the internet. And I'm gonna try to keep this video as lighthearted as possible, you know? Y'all are here for the gags and the jokes and shit, not the deep shit. So I'm not gonna go full doomer in this video. I'll sprinkle some doom in it, but I'll mostly focus on the more lighthearted and funny stuff. Why did I sound Irish there? Anyways, people are using Sora to make these AI slot videos and they have been dominating my feed recently. I've been getting one every like 20 scrolls or something. I don't know if my algorithm's just cooked or if I'm cooked. Probably both. But the generative features of this Sora app are genuinely scary. And when I mean scary, I mean scarily realistic. A lot of these AI videos are starting to flood my feed like never before. And it's getting to the point where like, I'll just casually scroll onto one of these. And then I won't be able to tell if whatever I'm watching is AI or not. Because there won't be a Sora watermark but then people in the comments will be saying that it's AI. People have found a way to remove the watermark already. The Sora watermark that's usually in these AI generated videos, they can remove it now. So yeah, it's getting pretty crazy. Uh, for the first time in history, I feel like a boomer. Of course, they're getting baited by it on Facebook, but now my dumbass is getting fooled by it on TikTok. So yeah, we're just cooked. If you can't tell already, I have doom seeping out of my pores. That's a lie. I'm actually pretty happy thankfully. But you gotta admit, bro, the fact that it only took him a few years to make AI looking this realistic is kind of scary. The quality of it is scarily good, but overall, this is scarily bad. And to nobody's surprise, it's already sitting at number one on the app store. And the push for this company is probably not gonna stop anytime soon. And I don't think people realize how bad this is. Like, sure, there's a lot of funny stuff coming from this app, but overall, I think it's bad. And I could go into how Sora is gonna just drive up electricity costs for the average person, or how Sora's release will only incur other AI companies to continue to fuck up the environment. But nothing I really say will stop it. And if you didn't know any of the information I showed, now you know. But this video isn't centered around the terrible impact that this app is gonna have. Today, we're just gonna be focusing in on the viral videos that it's produced and how realistic they look because I'm genuinely amazed by this. Like it's dystopian, but it's also kind of amazing. You know what I mean? You see this Michael Jackson one, bro. They're using celebrities in these. People are generating fake body cams and security cam footages. So you can imagine how that's gonna go. Imagine people using AI evidence in court. <laughs> Holy. Or or even worse, somebody uses it to fake evidence to accuse somebody else in court. Like, this can't be good, bro. This is so bad. But on the surface of TikTok, there's just a lot of lighthearted, funny, goofy-ass Sora AI videos that are going viral as hell. They're going triple platinum. Like this 213 million view what? Sora AI video of a cat running around with a fish. Whoever uploaded this video is eating a steak dinner tonight. Hey, what the? Cat just took a fish! Get back here! Police! Move, move! Watch out! Cat heading for the doors! Still moving, South Lot! Hey, let him go. He's just trying to provide for his family. I hate that I have to admit this, but some of them make me laugh. Some of them I think are really funny, which makes me question, am I cooked for laughing at these? Y'all can debate that down in the comments below. But some of these videos look like a fever dream. And for some reason, they get a kick out of me. But one thing I'm kind of worried about now and a little concerned about is if I keep liking these videos, will my feed eventually just turn into AI? I think that probably is the case. That's why I need to get all my final laughs out in this video and also grievances out so I can just stop interacting with this type of content once and for all. Because I'm not trying to see more of it on my feed as much as it is funny. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. A lot of the videos are funny and shocking and just creative in the sense of like how they detailed the plot and the prompt. But I don't want my feed to just turn 100% AI, let alone even 50%, bro. I'm not trying to see that shit 24 seven. Plus they're starting to get a little predictable. A lot of them have been ring doorbell footages with storms happening. Let me in! Please, there's a hurricane out here! or traffic stops with fictional characters, or even historical characters. Good afternoon, sir. Reason for the stop is you were doing 16 and 35. Can I see your license and registration, please? License? Registration? Good fellow, I forged a nation. I carry no such paper. You're telling me this isn't CGI quality? This literally, somebody could make a movie with Sora. Could they not? Like, is that a real thing somebody could do? Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> I'm getting some heavy thoughts. Does this mean that AI will eventually just dominate the film industry? 
and maybe even take it over. Bro, this is so bad. I'm sorry. If, if I'm just projecting my doom onto y'all, then it is what it is. You know, I can't help my thoughts. But I think about these things because this could directly impact artistic work. The way this AI video is able to replicate a real body cam lens, as well as making a George Washington that looks realistic, like, bro, somebody could definitely make a movie with Sora AI. And sure, the average person might think, oh, that's super cool. You, I can just feed a prompt into a robot and it can generate a scene for me. It is a super cool concept, but the means to achieve that is just so bad, bro. So bad for everybody. The environment, essential workers, people in the film industry, musicians, people who are just living in their homes trying to pay their electricity bill. Like this will eventually just be bad for everybody but i did promise at the beginning of this video that i would not be so doomerish so for the rest of the video we're just going to focus in on how realistic these videos look you ready to get cracked crack me deep perfect alignment what the f people are really just putting whatever into these prompts for these videos huh obviously with this one you can easily tell that it's ai there's still a little bit of that ai texture uh in some of these sora videos thankfully not all of them are super realistic rip bro the main thing i'm noticing with a lot of these are how they're able to like replicate that wide camera lens angle or view that one specific view that the ring cameras have and the gopros have you guys know what i'm talking about i don't know exactly the term but aside from the dog literally flying in the middle of this one it looks realistic aside from the dog and the tornado you know what i mean the neighborhood looks real the house looks real the door looks real the mat looks everything else looks real even the ring camera and the reflection on it like they got that shit on lock but again Rip to little bro. You know what else has been popping up on my feed a shit ton recently? Those Logan Paul AI videos. What's up with that? Hey, welcome to Beta Beta. We're so glad you're here today. This is wild. The energy is next level. What are you hoping to find in a sisterhood? People who push me, who have my back no matter what. I'm big on team vibes. You're in the right I'm place. So pumped right now. This is it. I'm opening my five move bid right now. Oh man, my hands are shaking. No way. It says congratulations. I got it! I got it! Let's go! Oh my god. Bid day! Right in the five me right now. Let's go! Five me right home! To the fam, little Jake. Here's a basket time to celebrate. Snacks and swag all packed for you from your big camp. Let's go! That's my big, let's go! Woo! I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now. I've got you, little. You're stuck with me. I love you, big. I love. This is just Jake Paul if he never started YouTube. Also, you can obviously tell this one's AI too. Some of the textures are a little off. Like you, you get that AI feel or texture with this video too. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like using those Snapchat filters that used to exist back in the day. I don't know if y'all remember or know what I'm talking about, but it almost looks like moving paint strokes on the video. You can kind of see it with this one. Some of the pixels are kind of like paint strokey. That's usually the easiest way to tell if it's AI or not, but there is a lot of other videos that don't have that paint stroke effect and it's usually harder to tell with those videos if it's AI or not. Your chicken's looking nice, pal. Hey, woo! Yo, he stole my chicken! Got a crispy treasure, can't slow me down. Hot and gold, and I'm out of this town. Move, move, Friday victory. We'll back here. Run, spin, slide, I'm gliding out the door. Fried love in my arms, can't give it up no more. Hey. Okay, this one's wild to me because they got his look accurate, his voice accurate, he was even singing in this clip and it sounded like his actual singing voice. Like, bro, a ton of celebrities are eventually going to see themselves in these videos made by other people. And I wouldn't even be surprised if they start suing Sora or OpenAI because people's likenesses are being used in these generated videos. And I don't know if that's enough to sue somebody, but it wouldn't shock me if OpenAI eventually gets sued for this. Also, going back to the realisticness of it, isn't it kind of crazy how accurate AI is able to replicate like human mannerisms and energy and stuff like that and emotion? It's very scary in my opinion but it's also kind of impressive hey it's me out here in the woods and look who i ran into this is the most beautiful creature right <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, okay, he's leaving, I'm all right. Whew. Besides the paint strokey effect being an aspect of this video, a boomer would definitely fall for this shit, bro. Like it looks realistic enough for gullible people. That's not me saying all boomers are gullible, but there's definitely a lot of them who are. Michael Jackson, is that you? He's back and he's with a bear, oh no. I'm willing to bet that at least one boomer reacted to this video like that. Justin, keep your hands on the wheel. You almost wiped out 
three cars back there. Put it in park now. I'm sorry, officer. I, I just... Don't move. Door's locked. Unlock it right now. I can't get a ticket. Hey, stop. Stop the car. Damn, he's probably on his way back to Bikini Bottom. Also, obviously, it's hard to get SpongeBob looking as real as possible, but I think it did a good job. Like, this looks pretty decent. SpongeBob looks like his usual self here, and everything else in this body cam looks real. Even the reflection on the car, the background. Maybe somebody on drugs would fall for this and think it's real. I think one of my favorite things to come out of this Sora AI wave is this video right here. Get ready to jet to fun with Secret Island. Fly in your own private plane, then unlock the hidden massage room. Whoa, secret room. Kick back with two chill old dudes and discover the treasure. Fly in on the private plane, pop open the door, and the old guys arrive in style. There's treasure in here. Hit the rock. Bam. Secret room packed with loot. Twist the volcano and Boom. hit the panic button. Here goes. It's so loud. Hey. Whoosh. Slide into the swirl. Bam, 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 bam. The squishiest blue and white goo that makes waves any way you want. Stretch it. Splash it. Whoa, it opened. The only island with real working spy cams hidden in secret rooms. And I can see it on the Track screen. the old guys, guard the treasure, and fly in with your own private plane. Hey, new from Toy Island. It's Orange Man. Don't release the files. Push it back and hear the real talking action. He's guarding the top secret files. Not for files. long. Don't release the files. Oh. Capture him, lock him up, and expand the adventure. Shh. This is easily the funniest one I've seen so far. Also, this comes off like a real children's commercial. Like, the accuracy is insane. You got the kids playing with the toys like usual. You got the extremely eccentric narrator voice. The toys themselves look real. It looks like a real package. I just can't get over the fact that we're really at this point and it took this long to get here. It did not take long at all. Like, AI has been a thing for a while, of course, but in terms of what the general public has access to now, it's just crazy how much we have at our fingertips now. And that's a good and bad thing in my opinion mostly bad but i don't know i can't say i have much of a problem with the actual videos that are being made they're insane and unhinged and funny and yeah let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts on this if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like it helps me out in the algorithm and if y'all want to see more content like this in this if y'all want to see more content like this in the future then feel free to subscribe damn i cannot talk today bro but i hope you guys have a great rest of your day make sure y'all are staying safe hydrated and healthy and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace